Anton Davis, uh, offensive tackle, University of Tennessee. <laughs> Anton was a big kid when he was born. His birthday is the first week in October. The stork who delivered him still has a hernia. Anton Davis was an All-America player at Tennessee, but there was no reason to even dream of such a thing as a kid in Fort Valley, Georgia. Grew up in Georgia. Um, uh, never considered playing football because I was too small to play. You didn't misunderstand, and it's worth hearing Anton say that again. Uh, never considered playing football because I was too small to play. With no football future and little else going, Anton dropped out of school, which ironically turned out to be the first step towards starting his football career. I um, decided that school wasn't the place for me. I needed to go to work. Um, when I dropped out of school, got this job, all of a sudden I had enough money to eat. started eating, I started growing, so I have this huge growth spurt. Uh, and I go from about 175 pounds to 305 pounds in less than a year and all of a sudden the scholarship offers start rolling in. That's where my story kind of parallels the blind side. Um, you know, I'm, I'm being recruited uh, through letters by a lot of different teams. And then all of a sudden this gentleman named uh, Philip Fulmer walks on campus and the recruiting was over. Uh, Coach Fulmer got a hold of me and uh, told me I was coming to Tennessee and have never looked back. You know, Coach Fulmer literally taught me everything that I know because I did not know how to play football when I got here. Teammates and fellow students found a no-nonsense guy in Davis. He was motivated by not wanting to go back to the life he'd left. I'm the youngest of eight. No one in my family had been to college. And so it was an opportunity to come and get a degree. And I'll be frank with you, I didn't care what the degree was in. It was a step. It was, it was more about achieving the goal than it was about um, having uh, this certain degree in a certain area. I wanted to graduate. I wanted to make that statement that I could graduate. So I took everything so serious and, and I worked so hard because I didn't want to squander the opportunity. I didn't want to go back to my hometown and say I squandered the opportunity and, uh, and messed up. Not only did he not squander the chance, he cashed it in, becoming the eighth overall pick in the 1991 draft by the Philadelphia Eagles. Money was no longer a problem. The NFL can be brutal. Uh, when you're in, they're always trying to replace you, but I had a great career, never had an injury, so I, I consider it a, a very successful career. I think it differs a lot.